Apple has finally thrown down the gauntlet with iPadOS 26, marking a major shift in how its iPads function and integrate into the broader Apple ecosystem. For years, critics and power users alike have expressed frustration at how iPadOS lagged behind its hardware, especially in terms of multitasking, file handling, and professional workflows. But with iPadOS 26, Apple seems to have paid attention, and it's about time. The problem with past versions. Let's be honest, iPads have always had the hardware advantage. The M-series chips, stunning displays, ultra-portable designs, all screamed potential. But the software? It lagged behind iPadOS updates in the past often felt like superficial iterations. Stage Manager, for example, was introduced with much fanfare, yet felt half-baked and restrictive. Users wanted freedom, fluidity, and flexibility, but were given artificial limitations. With iPadOS 26, Apple has made an effort to listen. And for the first time in years, the result feels like an OS worthy of the iPad Pro's powerhouse internals. A refined user interface, Liquid Glass reimagined iPadOS 26 introduces a visually immersive and functionally smooth aesthetic called liquid glass. Unlike its iPhone counterpart, where some have complained it feels gimmicky, the iPad version of liquid glass brings depth and subtlety. It's used across lock screens, windows, and control panels to create an interface that's both premium and tactile. Animations are tighter, transitions are buttery smooth, and the responsiveness of the interface finally matches the high refresh rate of promotion displays. It feels like using a frosted glass board, glossy without being flashy. Multitasking, redefined. This is where iPadOS 26 truly shines. The multitasking features have been completely overhauled. Floating windows, apps can now open in draggable, resizable windows. It's a desktop-like experience without the clunkiness. Snap layouts, users can now snap apps into quadrants or halves like on macOS or Windows. Minimize and maximize, full control over window size and position makes the iPad experience feel vastly more capable. Persistent dock and stage transitions, switching between windows and apps is seamless and no longer disrupts workflow. This isn't just a rehash of Stage Manager, it's Stage Manager matured, refined, and reborn. The Files app grows up. One of the long-standing criticisms of iPadOS was the Files app. It always felt like a mobile port instead of a true file system. With iPadOS 26, Apple has added. Custom folder colors and icons, organize your workspace just like on macOS. List view enhancements, see detailed metadata, file type, creation date, tags, size, and more. Drag and drop revamped, move files across apps with pinpoint precision. Open with options, you can now choose how you want to open a file, just like on a Mac. And yes, there's now a menu bar across apps, a familiar and powerful addition that further blurs the lines between tablet and desktop. Windowed multitasking, finally real desktop power. Multitasking on the iPad used to feel like an illusion. You could run apps side by side, but with limited customization. Now, you can. Drag apps to any area of the screen. Resize them as you would on a Mac or PC. Stack windows, layer them, and fully customize your workspace. This level of flexibility means you can set up your iPad however you like, whether that's for creative work, productivity, or leisure. Pro Tools, finally catching up? Creative professionals have always appreciated the iPad's artistic apps, Procreate, Concepts, Notability, but it's always been clear, the software limited what the hardware was capable of. iPadOS 26 introduces better file handling, app switching, and improved support for accessories like external monitors with true full-screen support, file management for high-resolution video files, improved latency and responsiveness for the Apple Pencil. But here's what's missing, full Xcode, terminal, and plugin support in apps like Final Cut Pro. The software has taken a big leap, but not a full one. Still, Apple has left the door open. Paper-like experience enhanced. If you're using the iPad for sketching or handwritten notes, the paper-like screen protector becomes a must-have. In iPadOS 26, the tactile feel when using the Apple Pencil has improved due to the software's enhanced response engine. Paper-like's benefits. Reduces glare and fingerprints. Improves pencil control. Preserves pencil tip longevity. It's subtle, but makes a huge difference for artists, architects, or anyone who values pen precision. File system and desktop experience merged. The iPad has always been about simplicity. But that simplicity came at the cost of depth. iPadOS 26 changes that. It now offers. True folder hierarchy. Finder style drag and drop. Mac-like app controls. Desktop experience when plugged into an external display. You can finally build a real workflow on the iPad. Want to use dual monitors? Go for it. 
Need to connect an SSD and move files rapidly? It's a breeze. Better resource optimization. One of the fears with big iPadOS changes is battery drain. But iPadOS 26 has been surprisingly efficient. Battery life remains steady. M4 and M2 models run cool under load. No performance throttling noted in testing. Even more impressive? It runs smoothly on M1 iPads and could potentially support older iPads too. What's still missing? Despite its triumphs, iPadOS 26 is not perfect. No multi-user support. Limited terminal or developer tools. Still no real Xcode or full Logic Pro capabilities. Scrolling behavior still inconsistent in some apps. But at least the direction feels correct now. Comparison with Samsung DeX, who's winning now? For years, Samsung's DeX had the advantage with a more desktop-oriented approach to tablets. Apple fans envied features like full multitasking, resizable windows, external display freedom. With iPadOS 26, Apple has caught up, maybe even overtaken Samsung in terms of visual refinement and ecosystem synergy. But Samsung still wins in openness and developer tools. Community feedback, addressed. Many of the iPad community's long-standing concerns are finally being addressed iPadOS 26 gives hope that Apple is listening. Better multitasking? Check. Real file system? Check. Improved UI responsiveness? Check. But features like Final Cut Pro with plugins and Mac app syncing are still on the wishlist. Should you upgrade? If you own an M-series iPad Pro or Air, upgrade. No question. A recent base iPad, still worth it, but expect feature limitations. An older Intel-based iPad may not be supported. This is the first time that an iPadOS update doesn't feel like a letdown. And that alone makes it worth downloading. Conclusion, Apple finally finds its iPadOS groove. After years of missteps, iPadOS 26 is the software that finally makes the iPad feel complete. It doesn't turn the iPad into a Mac, and it doesn't need to. Instead, it leverages what makes the iPad unique, its portability, touch interface, and creative focus, and fuses it with desktop-level functionality. We're not just looking at a tablet anymore. We're witnessing the birth of a new kind of computing device, flexible, portable, and finally powerful. If you've been waiting for a reason to fall in love with your iPad again, iPadOS 26 might just be it.